Okay. Welcome to Studio Jakara E. The uh, elections in the Jakara E working group is uh, ongoing. And uh, with me here today, I have uh, Werner Kyle. Uh, can you in introduce yourself? Yeah, hi, I'm Werner Kyle. Uh, for those of you who may not have met me or heard about me, I have a long history with various open source communities, uh, especially Eclipse. I've been with Eclipse pretty much since the first version and also some of the early conferences, including an Eclipse World that happened in 2005. Well, it doesn't exist under that name anymore, but I have also been to various other conferences, including EclipseCon on at least three different continents and also demo camps all the way from America to Europe or Asia. Yes, so you're a veteran in, in mm -hmm. the open source community. And, and uh, uh, why is it that you engage in, this, uh, in these community activities and in particular uh, you're running for a seat in the specification committee in the Jakari working group. So to, can you explain a little bit why are you, why are you doing this stuff? Well, first of all, I'm currently one of the sitting uh, members, the sitting committee member in this committee. So basically I would like to offer the experience of the last two years to continue the work because yeah, Jakarta E9 is still ongoing and in the pipeline. And of course there are other efforts beyond that like version 10 and so forth. And I also have a background in the Jakarta, or in the Eclipse. Well, sorry, maybe we have to cut that out. So we, I have been in the JCP executive committee for a very long time, almost 10 years in a row. And since Many of the duties also are inherited from there. I, I know what was done in the JCP. So I also have a background that other people may not always have the same level of experience to also know what was done before. I was also in the enterprise Java platform uh, JSR ever since uh, Java EE6. So, so, so I also you're, help, help the platform you're project. The, the, the bridge between the, the JCP and the Jakara EE working group. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, and, and you're running for the committer representatives. Mm -hmm. And uh, w why, do you think it, why do you think it's important for committers to, and community members to engage in the working group? Yeah, well, one of the points of criticism was especially in the JCP that uh, individuals and committers had uh, fewer votes and fewer say. So especially in this case, uh, in a few cases I've seen that in the meetings, uh, literally the committers or both the committer and the participant members may actually be important whether there's a quorum or not. And in some cases where, for example, the current uh, Corona situation or other things like conferences and events, there were fewer participants in the meetings. And then literally uh, somebody like me or the other participant members uh, could, could be the drop uh, that makes it possible that you have a quorum and you are able to make a decision or not. So of course it's also important that people don't just run in order to have a badge on their chest, uh, but actually to, to also help making those decisions. And yes, so have... you're saying that the committer vo voice is very important in this kind of open source communities. And if you look at the other way around, uh, what has these kind of engagements done for you in your, uh, your career? Has it helped you in any way to mm -hmm. be, be a part of uh, the JCP and now the Jakarta e working group? Yes, there were some former clients or those who would have uh, wanted me on board in their projects uh, where they literally said, we usually give people riddles or some uh, small code projects uh, to solve, but we have been observing, uh, for example, the Java money mailing list uh, where I'm one of the maintenance leads of the money GSR. 
And therefore, that prospect customer said, we have seen what you have been doing in open source and in the Java Money project in this particular case. So you don't need to do that. We would hire you upfront. So, so it, it's good for the community to, uh, and for the working group to have community members there. And it's good for the community members to be part of the working group because it actually helps boost your career. Mm -hmm. So uh, at, at the end, is there anything you would uh, say to your fellow committers? Why should they vote for you? What is your message to, what are you thinking of, of doing uh, in the Jakarta working group? Yeah, well, as, as mentioned, I, I'm currently in this shoe and in this seat. So I, I know a little bit uh, about it. And I was also able to participate in most of the meetings, even when sometimes uh, a few of the other members for various reasons were not always able to participate as much. So I'm, I'm happy and willing to continue that. And if you, if you like to honor that, and if you wish uh, to have continuity for Jakarta E, then I would be happy if I get your votes. Yeah. So I'll, I'll, I'll give you a slogan. It's uh, vote for experience, votes for Werner. Mm, yeah. So experience and continuity in order to make sure that the Jakarta EE pipeline and uh, delivery cycle happens the same way as it already did for Jakarta E8, for example. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking to me and thank you very much for your participant in the uh, working group and in the community in general. And uh, I hope to see you there in the spec committee meetings uh, in, uh, after the election is over. Okay, yeah. Well, thanks for giving me the opportunity to talk about why I'm running. And yeah, I would be happy to see you there again.